Crowen. Today is Pancake Tuesday, or Shrove Tuesday, or Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is a French word meaning Fat Tuesday. Mardi is the word for Tuesday, and Gras is fat. So like Pâté de Faux Gras, the liver of the fatted goose, Gras means fat. And you're like Fat Tuesday, and it's a big celebration. It's a celebration in preparation for tomorrow, but that's tomorrow's video. So, Mardi Gras is a big festival, big party, and it's a huge thing down in New Orleans where my cousin Ellie lives. And down in New Orleans, they have parades and floats and drinking and singing and partying and this goes on for days and the party ends on fat tuesday mardi gras uh down in south america uh they have carnival which is from the latin carne lavare meaning goodbye to meat or removing the meat because starting tomorrow it's lent that's tomorrow's video but Today is preparation for that. So what do you do if you can't have meat tomorrow? Well, you eat meat today. And you want to eat the big, greasy, fatty foods. And so pancakes were one of these things where it's like, okay, there's lard that goes into the pancakes, and then you fry them in lard, and then you smear the butter on them, and then you put on the sweet syrup, and it's just all sorts of yumminess that go along with pancakes. Uh, the Pennsylvania Dutch have a tradition where they have uh, fastnacht, uh, and a fastnacht is just a donut. Um, the word means fasting night. So this is what they would have before they don't eat. But that's tomorrow. So today we eat. So uh, Mardi Gras, it's Fat Tuesday, it's Pancake Tuesday, is a day of final celebration. So it's like, Tomorrow is going to be rough, so we party today. So it's it's a day where you party in preparation, knowing that you may not have a chance to party for a while. Um, and sometimes that's what it is. That's what you have to do. You have to party today um, before you move ahead into the more difficult tasks of tomorrow. But as I said, it's only, at worst, it's three or four days. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun thing. One of these days, maybe we'll take you. I haven't been myself. I've been meaning to go. I have an open invitation for my cousin Ellie. She's on a crew. So in New Orleans, they have floats, as I said. And the floats are run by crews. And her crew is the Muses. And all the different crews have shticks, and their shtick is they hand out shoes. And it, these are just like stray random shoes that they find. And they find these shoes, and they decorate them. They glitz them all up. And once the shoes are all glitzed up, they hand them out from the float. Uh, another crew does coconuts. Um, beads, or beads are everywhere, so... These floats, they just go around and they throw beads to people. And when my brother was down at Mardi Gras, Peter, Peter's big guy, bigger than I am, you know, you know how big I am. Peter's huge. Anyway, he had this huge hat that was just all sorts of Mardi Gras colors because the Mardi Gras colors are green, purple, and gold. So he had this big, huge hat with all sorts of Mardi Gras colors on it. And people would throw the beads trying to ring it around his hat. Um, but some things that we've done for Mardi Gras is we've, uh, we bring donuts in to work. So on Mardi Gras, back when, you know, we went into the office and people could still go into the office, we would stop by Dunkin' Donuts or the bakery or Wegmans and we would grab three or four big boxes of donuts. So that's 48, 36 donuts. And put one down by newspaper graphics with the people I work for. Up 
group in mobile development where I also work, I did, took a couple boxes to the forecasters. There were just donuts everywhere because, you know, it's it's the fast knock. It's the night of fast, or it's the night before fasting. It's it's getting your party in while you can. So that is Mardi Gras. <laughs>